one thing about and we've talked about him a lot on this podcast because how can you not but um uh, one thing we don't always acknowledge is like he's he's so much older than any other player that's dominated like this white was 41 you were last mm. number one i'm not saying it won't happen again but you were last world number one at mm. 38 yeah i, I mean how, how has he redefined sort of the, the life expectancy of a snooker player not on his own i suppose there's higgins as well and williams yeah but to be dominating any sport at the age and he is is just mm. almost unheard of isn't it yeah i mean look he's he's, he's physically fit he looks after himself. Um, so, as he said, I think he's forty-eight, but I don't, he's I don't think, yeah. I don't think that's his men- mental age in terms of his act, how active he is, how how well he can concentrate, how well. I mean, you, you probably take almost twenty years off that the, the way yeah. the way he's, he's still competing. So, as I say, he's looked after himself, and I think, and I've said um, a few times that he's got that uh, you know amazing um, sort of attitude where. Okay, he's trying to win when he's out there, but if he loses, he he doesn't really care. It yeah. doesn't affect his life. It's not going to affect him that the you know the next week he's not going to dwell on it. He's got other things to do, and he's just going to chill out and do his exhibitions and go to China and and, and wherever and get very very well paid. So it's yeah. not a be all and end all. Where for no, me, that must... it was it was a be all and be all for sure. All. And I think for for most players ever, it has been the be all and end all. That that's, mm. must be one of the things that making him such a such a powerful yeah, weapon, Ronnie. He, he, he can afford to not. We we see a lot of players like Jack Lasowski talking about how he's just not enjoying it. the pressure of it. Is, mm. is you know weighs on you. Mark Allen's talked about it. Basically, there's no other player that can afford to be like not that worried if he loses. And well, apart yeah. from you. And um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that must be having a bearing. Like uh, uh, Ronnie playing in this form, but also with no real pressure, putting yeah. no real pressure on himself. It that really is a tough a tough problem. I, I mean, and, yeah. In any sport, if you've got that that ingredient where the 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 actual result doesn't matter to you in your life, really, um, yeah. it's it's an it's an incredible position to be in. It really um, is, and that make and that and that makes me think like, how long can he go on? Because he's as I say, he's, he looks after himself. Um, you know, it's it's at the minute, it's you don't you can't see him slowing down in terms of no. winning. We could be doing this podcast for five years, and he's, we're still having these conversations. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, maybe they'd stop commissioning the podcast if, if it was <laughs> five years of Ronnie set, Ronnie wins, Ronnie wins. What do you think it means for? There's obviously players like Lazowski and uh, Trump, who we think of as still kind of young players, but they're mm. entering their well, they're well into their thirties. Judge thirty four, yeah. Lazowski thirty two. Is there a bit where? Is there a moment where you should be in your prime? Like when should you be hitting your best? form do you think because again most people wouldn't say 48 was the answer to that but ronnie yeah. does has always changed the game yeah i mean you look at other sports i mean my, my other favorite sport obviously golf and you look at players that come on tour and they're kind of like 18 19 they start winning then yeah it kind of like if, if you're not like right up the top and and, and competing from their sort of late teens early 20s it's all you almost missed the boat almost um you know snooker's snooker's changed i mean it it was well. It's it's actually gone back to more of the age group when I turned pro. I yeah, mean, it's true. When I turned pro at sixteen. Probably the top sixteen was full of like the Davises, the Higgins, the Whites, the Taylor, all sort of around maybe mid to late thirties, early thirties, yeah. mid to late thirties, and there was no one of of Ronnie's age really um, then. So now it's it's actually gone full circle since I since I turned pro. Whereas the, the the you know the likes of as you say Trump, Lazowski, who we think of as young players, they're thirty two. Selby's, Robertson, yeah. sort of getting to near late thirties. Um, yeah, I mean that's my my sort of I wouldn't say it's a fear, but a slight worry is is where are the sort of the seventeen eighteen year olds that are, that look like they can win tournaments now. I don't think there is anyone. Stan no, Moody is, is, a, is, a, is a is a prospect, but. Do I think he can win tournaments now? No. So that, that's where are these players? That's what that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should be looking in the other direction. Ray Reardon's in his 90s or something, but he made a century recently, didn't he? So yeah, perhaps perhaps we just need the people like him and Griffith to come back to the table. <laughs> You're right. It is a strange one, isn't it? There's, there's, it's almost impossible to think of another sport where. Uh, like well, it is impossible to think of the sport where a guy nearly fifty is dominating. People people always ask uh, ask me like what what is it that goes in snooker when you get older? Because obviously it's not yeah. the most physical sport. Um, it says is is it your eyesight? And and I must admit when I when my form sort of started to fade, it was the first thing I checked actually. I thought just in case. Right. Is it is it? Uh, unfortunately, turns out you didn't have that un- excuse now. They were fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have so, fixed it with a pair of glasses, that yeah. would have been all right. I did cancel that one out. So that's <laughs> what, what I think is is a big thing is, is is as I say, we go back to Ronnie how he's managing his life and he's got other things and he can snooker's not the be all and end all. Um and it's 
managing that practice, um, being mm. able to put that, well, how much, knowing how much work you need to put in to maintain that form. Ronnie's, you, you can't really put him in that bracket because he's different from anyone else. He's just a special yeah. talent that can just turn up and, and, and play a very, very high standard. Well, um, you, mentioned, you mentioned that he looks after himself. That must be part of it as well, yeah. like when you get into your he's, 40s. He's a very young 48, put it that way. Yeah, it, yeah. I suppose, and just all, everything, like your, your concentration, your mentality, mm. those things shouldn't fade no matter how old you get. So I guess if you're in good physical condition and if you still, but it's the hunger as well, isn't it? Ronnie, mm. he might not always want to play tournaments, but when he is there, he's, yeah. he's flat out to win. It must be, not everyone is that driven to succeed at that stage no. of life as well. Yeah, and, and, but I mean, Mark Williams, is, is he lost in the Masters um, and he, he said in his aftermatch interview that, um, look, at my age, I'm going to miss easy balls now, but I'm ju- I just, I'll just put up with it. I know it's going to happen. And, and, and you're right, what you said, like concentration may not be as sharp um, mm-hmm. as, as, as when you were 20. Um, but, as, um, you know, because when you look when you look at when Ronnie's won these two all these tournaments, a lot of these matches he's not played great. Mm. But yeah, he said he's managed to do he's managed to do enough to get the victories. He's played great in stages, there's no doubt about it. He found gear against Carter at the end. He found a gear against um Trump. But these are sort of three or four frame bursts. He's not playing well for the whole, whole match. Yeah. So that you know that that, that the age is, is catching up with him slightly. That's but he's extent. still He's still, as you say, he's got that thing where he's just, it's not the be-all and end-all. Um, and, and it's making him still, still a winning animal. Yeah. Well, there are young players coming through, obviously. Um, well, Liam Pullen, uh, Liam mm. Graham. A lot of them are called Liam, t- to be fair. We can't entirely <laughs> rely on people called Liam to save us from money. Uh, Julian Boyko, of course. Uh, C, who's made some headway. Yes. So there's, there's, it's not like there's not good players coming through. It's just when are we going to see the next? Yeah. And again, like you keep saying, it's probably not reasonable to talk about the next Ronnie because we you just don't see players like this. Coming. Yeah, like, uh, that's not this. That's not. It's more the next Selby, the next Robertson we're looking for, I suppose. Yeah, as I say, there's lots of talented players out there. Don't get me wrong, young players as you, you know, Cesar We, um, you know, yeah. Moody, and the, the, you know, the, the you know the Liam Graham. These these, but they're, they're all talented. But you know, you, you've got to be winning now. 